Today, I want to go over one of the biggest mistakes I see Dubsado users making, and that is in regards to the Dubsado scheduler. So if you've been having any frustration or trouble with the scheduler, this video is for you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ray. I'm the creator of Productive Co. I help service-based business owners with systems and automation. Now today I want to talk to you specifically about when a new lead books an appointment with you through your website. Okay. So this will be in regards to the first time a new lead gets in touch with you. Now, if you have the scheduler on your website, the easiest way to test if you're making this mistake is to open up the scheduler on your website and fill it out as if you are going to be a client. So go ahead and choose a date and time and then click submit and next. If the page then looks like this, you are making this mistake. So this page will add appointments to your calendar, whether that's in Dubsado or onto your Google calendar. Um, but it will not create a new project for you in Dubsado. So if you go to the projects tab in Dubsado and you scroll all the way over to combined and then all, if you don't see the client's name listed in here, that is because when they fill out this form, they're only getting added to your calendar. They're not having a new project created in Dubsado. So if you want a new project to be created, which most of the time you probably will, you need to do this one thing. So the first thing you need to do is go into the uh, into Dubsado under templates and then forms, and you need to create a lead capture. Okay, so a lead capture is essentially a contact form. And what's unique about lead captures is that they create new projects in Dubsado anytime they're filled out. So if the same person fills it out three times, they'll actually have three projects created, but no client is likely to do that. So you don't have to worry about it. But what you want to do is go over to lead capture and create a new lead capture. Now, once you do this, you need to make sure that you have a first name, a last name and an email address at the bare minimum. Um, Dubsado requires these in order to create a new project. Okay. And you can use the building blocks on the right side in order to build out your form. In order to add the first name, last name, and email address, you want to make sure that you choose the building block called short answer, okay? Make sure you do not select free response. So you can add these to your form, and then I want you to click on each field, and you'll type in that the question is either the first name, the last name, or the email, and then you'll make it required by checking the box, and then Underneath, you want to map it to either the client first name, the client last name, or the client email address. And you'll just keep repeating this for all three fields. So the first name, the last name, and the email address. You can ask any other questions you want on this form. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and hit save. Now, the next thing you're going to do is go into your scheduler template. So you go down to templates, scheduler, and then select the scheduler that goes on your website. So in this example, I'm using a scheduler called design workshop. Now I'm currently in the basic tab here. I want you to go to the advanced tab, scroll down and where it says additional form, you are now going to choose the name of that lead capture. So you can type in, if you want to shortcut the lead capture title, and then you can select save. It's very important that you hit save when you're done. Okay. Now go back to that page on your website where the scheduler is and refresh the page. I want you to fill out the scheduler again, as if you are a client. And when you hit submit next, you should now see your lead capture form. If you see that, that means that this will now create a new project once they hit submit at the bottom of the form. Okay. So once they hit submit, then it will be created. So now whenever the scheduler is filled out, they will have a new project appear inside of Dubsado, which means you can have workflow automations kick off from the moment that new project is created. Now you might be wondering why does Dubsado give you the option to fill out the scheduler both ways? Um, it's 
partly personal preference. Um, if you want to book an appointment with somebody, but you're not sure that you're going to work with them, you can have a call with them without creating a new project in Dubsado. This also allows you to book calls with friends or family if you need them to book a, a scheduled time to meet with you. However, if you do have a client that's already in the system, you can always go into their project and then under the appointments tab, you can send them a scheduler. And when you do this, every appointment they book with you is going to go um, into their project. So you'll be able to see a history of every appointment that they've booked with you regarding this project within this project. Okay, now it's your turn to correct this mistake if you were making it. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications when new videos go live. If you want more information on Dubsado or more support with it, I have a ton of resources over on my website. And in the link below this video, I have a free Dubsado blueprint that you could take advantage of. All right, I'll see you next time.